Time now is 604 and an Olympic gold medalist is adding her name to the chorus of lawsuits against Michigan State University, USA Gymnastics and the US Olympic Committee. Jordan Weaver says that she was abused for six years at the hands of Larry Nasser and nothing was done to stop him. As local force Nick Monticelli shows us today, Weaver will be sharing her story in front of Congress. This Senate investigation was launched directly after Nasser was sentenced. Now, today's hearing is going to include Jordan Weber, but also several other Olympians. Now, this is on top of the lawsuit that Weber just filed, and she is suing USA Gymnastics, the U.S. Olympic Committee, and Larry Nasser. And there are some pretty serious allegations. I thought that training for the Olympics would be the hardest thing that I would ever have to do. But in fact, the hardest thing I've ever had to do is process that I'm a victim of Larry Nasser. Back in January, U.S. gold medalist Jordan Weber captured headlines when she admitted that she too was abused by Larry Nasser. Now she has filed her own lawsuit against Nasser, as well as the USOC, USA Gymnastics, and Michigan State University. The 22 year old woman says the abuse happened on campus at MSU and USA Gymnastics events around the world. Her lawsuit says these organizations were more interested in their reputations, donations, and recruiting new members than the safety of these young athletes. I think that there are definitely individuals within the organizations who did know and who chose to stay silent. Weber's attorneys say USA Gymnastics failed to follow their own rules and regulations. They want an independent party to step in. If you're allowing the people within the organization that was the problem to try and address the problem, then that's never going to work. In the meantime, Weber and three other Olympians will be testifying today. The Senate committee will focus on how national governing bodies can better protect athletes from abuse. In response, Michigan State did release a statement. You can read the entire thing on our website at clickondetroit.com. But they did say in part that they're working to make sure something like this can never happen again. In the newsroom, Nick Bonacelli, Local 4 News Today.